Hello fellow Minecrafters, uh, the fallen one here. I'm going to show you how to, uh, well first I'll demonstrate this program counter here, then I'll show you how I built it. Uh, reset by reach so I don't actually break anything. Um, it's a program counter, this one here, this particular one is 8 bits. Um, this is your increment input, when this is on it will increment by 1 every clock cycle. Uh, this is your load input. Uh, when this is on, every clock cycle, it will load uh, whatever input is here in this yellow into the program counter. Then gray here is your output, and that's your clock. Uh, it has to have a pulse limiter on it. If it does not have a pulse limiter, this will not work. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, something else is going to point out that I forget. Anyways, yeah, let's try it. So we're asserting the increment bit, and every clock cycle, it's incrementing by one. It can go a lot faster than this. You know, it can support up to a uh, like four clock, um, just so the torches don't burn out. But um, that's how fast it can go. So, this is just, uh, this is at the clock speed of my 4-bit microprocessor that I built, um, which I'm thinking about making an 8-bit ALU and uh, program counter for, even though it's only 4 bits, just so I can uh, have more ROM available to use. Anyway, as you can see here, it's incrementing, and uh, we uh, turn off incrementing. Then let's uh, start on the input. Zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. So zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. And um, you know the in input can change. You can keep incrementing it. Nothing will happen. Uh, besides it, just incrementing as is the usual. But uh, if I go over here and assert this, every clock cycle what it does is it issues a reset signal and then a load signal. So what the load signal does, you can see here the pattern is copied exactly, it loaded it properly. Um, the reset signal comes up here, well the reset signal is down here, the red, resets everything to zero. Then the load signal comes up here to these AND gates. Well, uh, NAND gates, actually. And um, then your inputs, if your input is zero, uh, it doesn't change anything because it's already reset them all to zero. If your input is one, it uh, changes the counter to one. And uh, that's how that works. So, anyways, if you try to increment while the load bit is on, um, it will attempt to increment, but it will quickly reset itself because um, it's loading the same value in every clock cycle, which is nice. And then to issue, to turn this off, the reset signal um, right there resets everything back to zero. And then uh, here, let's increment it, and you can watch the outputs here. So one, two. Three, four, and so on. And uh, it's expandable to as many bits as you want it to be, or um, as few bits as you want it to be. And I'm going to do another video here, and I'll show you how to build it. 